YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video, guys. Once again, we've got the Sony 77 inch Alpha 95 Legend, that is the A95L in front of us. This is a great TV. Today I wanted to make this video talking about standard definition gaming. Let me just start by setting the expectations for you guys. I'm essentially going to be making this a talking point video. I'll run some gameplay on this and uh, right now, if you've been following the content previously, I showed you guys me playing Robocop. I kind of got the icon there, Rogue City. That's an interesting game. I'm really, really digging it. But I want to scale back, go away from the 4K, the max settings, because I am playing on PC. And because I'm playing on PC, I'm in a great position where I feel like I have the ultimate gaming experience. What I mean is catalog from that perspective. I've literally got everything from ColecoVision, original Atari content, onwards up to me being able to play games like robocop uh rogue city which comes out tomorrow day after right so the oldest of the old and the newest of the new now this tv is a cutie oled it has the ability to just give remarkable colors ridiculous highlight bright details super super deep blacks it just covers the entire spectrum of what you want to see from color contrast clarity all of that jazz and in my opinion the motion is pretty damn good. Input latency is super solid. Everything that I've thrown at this thing is pretty remarkable. And I like to game on my TVs. I feel like gaming on them is going to be the best representation of pushing the TV. I don't think there's any movie content or any type of demos that you could put on a television that's going to stress it more than a video game would. That being said, this video is gonna encompass me discussing standard definition gaming. I came to this topic because I had a couple of people that are subscribed or at least that regular on my channel ask me about dimming and things of that sort. And so last night I was literally playing a little bit of Onimusha 2. Onimusha 2 is only available on PlayStation 2 and so I do have it on the PC and so it's an older game. That game came out a long time ago, right? No remaster, no fancy updates or anything like that. It's just straight OG, right? And so uh, as I was playing it, I'm like, man, this actually is a pretty good experience. I do have some decent audio in this room. And so I was like, you know, I should play a little bit more of this and uh, utilize it as some talking points to discuss what I think SDR is like on this TV. We're gonna get all that going right after this intro. guys welcome back to my channel it is november the first as you can see it's about 5 21 p.m we got time steps in the description for talking points around this i want to start this off by showing this platform that i have on my pc so as i said in the opening intro not only do i have like the latest and greatest games that's on here i've got everything pretty much you know covered on the back end and uh, it puts me in a position where obviously a ton of this content, like 99% of this stuff that's on here, maybe 95% because I do have some modern stuff integrated into this front end, puts me in a position where I'm playing standard definition, right? So I'm talking about Jaguar, Lynx, I mean, Wonder Swan, BBC Micro, I mean, Casio, right? ColecoVision, as I mentioned, I mean, a little bit of everything, CDTV. Mega Duck, man, a little bit of everything, right? So I'm talking about taking it all the way through to MAME, which is pretty much old school arcade stuff. You know, everything's preset for me to be able to just enter coins, some OG Xbox, some 360, 360 Live components, PC Engine, TurboGrafx-16, right? Like when I kind of set this thing up the other day, I was showing you guys, I was playing some Blazing Lasers. You know, so, you know, I talked about playing Onimusha 2 last night and I was playing it on this platform and I said to myself, man, ironically, this is a Vulix right there. So I've got content on that. I might card that in right now. In any event, man, 3DS, like Nintendo 64, Japanese, NES, a little bit of everything, right? So just going through the entire wheel, some GameCube content, like this stuff doesn't even have HDMI, it's not a 480 even 480p all of this stuff right so definitely this stuff is going to be a great representation for me to be able to use on here so 
that's why I felt like, you know, this is really like the ultimate setup from a gamer's perspective because I'm able to just go in and just play whatever the heck that I want to play, right? Taking it down to Dreamcast, Sega Genesis, you know what I'm saying? M2, more arcade content, Naomi, Naomi 2, Pico, Sega Ring Wide Arcade Platform, the Saturn, Japanese Saturn, Triforce, what? Some shoot 'em ups. Yeah, man. Like a ton of content, man. Just some great stuff. Matter of fact, I posted a short video uh, last night, I think it was, before I did the Robocop video. And I was asked, like, what game was I playing? <laughs> That game is Sky Force Anniversary. Yeah, this, this is a pretty dope game, actually. And it's in SDR. Now, Windows can be a little bit tricky because you can kind of, you can force your desktop to be in uh, HDR. And so, your TV will read that you're in HDR. But this is SDR and it looks, it looks phenomenal. It looks really good. I was looking at some of the comments from the uh, the short that I posted. Some of you guys are fun. They were saying, uh, like, man, you got a, a 4090 and an 895K to play 16-bit graphics. <laughs> it's actually in 4K. It looks really good, too. Shoot 'em ups are pretty fun, man. Good pick up and play games. Yeah, but this is all in HDR. Matter of fact, let me pause that for a second. Go ahead and get y'all that reading. So you can see yourself. 8-bit HDR. Uh, SDR, I'm sorry. I said it's in HDR, it's in SDR. Boy is a gamer gamer. <laughs> I like playing anything that's gonna be fun, man. Human rescue. I miss destroying that. Gotta say to humans. All right, running some Onimusha. That's a nice, nice classic. Hacking me up. Been a while. <laughs> you gotta have a counter game on point with this. Oh. I went through the majority of this game without blocking. <laughs> so that means I'm either gonna get hit. Ooh, nice. Or well, I'm going to counter. Oh. Ooh. 
tank controls too. Which I had no problem with that tank controls. Give you that Resident Evil, that original Resident Evil vibe. But this is on a PlayStation 2. This thing looks pretty good. I, I won't allow you to enter the mine unless you have a permit. Again, all content in this video is in SDR. And we do have uh, the VRR turned on. <clears throat> Obviously, with emulation, you can do some different things. I've got this, uh, pretty much the screen is, is kind of sort of rendering at 4K, if you will. Gold. Ooh. It's gonna have to kill me. Ooh. From a latency perspective, this thing is rock solid. I've had that question comes up. That question keeps coming up, man. You know, you don't worry about Anything that's under 13 milliseconds of input latency, I can get busy with. Let's go, man. Mario Kart Double Dash, man. One of the greatest games of all time, period. I'm talking about period. <laughs> you know, great content here. Had, had the ability to have some surround sound to it also, so some dedicated channel options. Um, pretty good functionality in this title here and then the cool thing about this with my emulation for this particular um console is it is running in the four by three like it was originally and then i've got like this uh borders on the side that cleans things up a lot look how crispy that is and this is using the dolphin emulator which if you know about it man you can go in and you can tweak the hell out of some stuff so the textures of the actual characters and, and and items icons are really good in this game just gonna play around with this a little bit up I'll be getting smoked right now So getting some gameplay in on the Sega Saturn platform. Um, this is gonna be um, X-Men Children of the Atoms. Oh man, I used to love that Capcom logo that brought you into the original Xbox. Um, so gonna get some gameplay in, mess around with this thing a little bit more, but uh, just kind of wanted to, you know, summarize this video, conclude it. This is probably gonna be one I'll revisit coming back, um, but I put myself in a position to 
be able to enjoy this TV um, a lot. And as I said in the opening, um, I try to shoot this content and I try to deliver the discussional piece so that um, you know my point of view, my perspective comes off uh, purposeful and I can just really get like what I'm trying to say across. It's not that you know what I think is the only thing that matters. Uh, however, I bought this for me. And so just reviewing this thing for anybody that's interested in what like standard definition content looks like, um, you know, this just works out to be really well for me. Now, this TV obviously does not have um, a plethora of different connections. There are no type of adaptions that you can get to connect old school content. So the consoles that you've seen me play, there's no way for you to be able to play them um, in their native um, form factor on this panel at all. You would have to go through a receiver. And even though I'm going through a receiver, my particular receiver, which is the Denon 970, H, uh, that's the latest option that they have of this series. It only has HDMI, and so uh, the TV does too. Uh, so playing with the PC just modernizes things. Not only does it give me the HDMI connection from the graphics card to the TV, it also enables me to have advancements playing games in 60 frames per second that might have been in 30, uh, playing with VRR, you know what I mean? Uh, playing with higher textures and potentially mods. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with this, with a setup like this. So I shared this just to build more engagement and awareness. Um, I know the TV, the, the, the grand scheme of the TV community is pretty, pretty straight to the point. Um, you know, TVs get reviewed. Uh, you play consoles, you play some PC. PC is not as much a big thing, but, and then the content gets reviewed from the space of, you know, what does it look like for movies and high, dy high dynamic range, Dolby Vision, etc. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, do my part in, in showing what I like to do. And this is primarily how I use all my TVs. Going to be a lot of gaming. Um, but this has been an enjoyable upload. If you have been entertained by it, feel free to leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Even if you let me know what you thought I could have did differently on the video. Uh, if you want to show support, man, hit the, hit the thanks button. You can hit the the thumb up button you can hit the share button um and we're gonna keep it going i'm gonna catch you guys on the next video peace god bless and as i always say man max love